there's a new really cool slider both in Photoshop and Lightroom that will help us to add a little bit more textures, a little bit more details to our images or to remove, to reduce some details, to smooth the skin, etc. So let me show you how it works. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. So this is a new slider that is called Texture and it's implemented in a new update of Camera Raw. So it's both in Photoshop and Lightroom and in order to get it, you need to have a newest version of Camera Raw. So now let's jump straight into Photoshop and let me show you how it works. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and today I will show you how this slider works on several different images. But before we jump and change, tweak our images with the slider, let me first tell you what this slider will do to your images. It will basically add or remove some details on your images. Or more precisely told, it will add a contrast to a mid-frequency range of your images. Or in other words, it will basically add contrast to smaller details on your photo. It will enhance smaller details. So now let's go back in Photoshop and let's see on the real example. In order to get to the slider, we need to go to filter camera row because that's an option in camera row. It's exactly the same in Lightroom. Again, if you're using Lightroom, it's completely the same. You can see the slider here. It's, a, it's called texture because it will like add texture or remove texture from your images and it's right above clarity. So both texture and clarity and also the haze will add or remove contrast from your images with that difference that clarity will add contrast or remove contrast from a mid-tones in your photo. So just mid-tones, it will not uh, impact uh, shadows and highlights, it will just change the mid-tones and texture will do similar thing, it will add or remove contrast from smaller details in your images, both shadows and highlights, not mid-tones, but just smaller details. So as you can see, if I add texture, I will add more like contrast and more details to our photo. So this is normal, this is with all details. This is without, this is like I'm removing texture, as you can see, see the background, see these parts around, like it's becoming more milky, smooth, we are removing texture. If, if I zoom this here, so for example like this, and I can add texture, and I'm adding a little bit of saturation too, and I can remove texture. So this is it, this is what the slider does. It's really, really simple, and I really love it because until now, I'm always I always use the Nicolor FX Pro, a plugin that uh, you need to download and install, and then I'm using Detail Extractor in that plugin. So this is really really similar to that, and I'm so excited that I can now do everything here in Camera Raw. So let me show you another example. Let's go to this photo and let's go again to Filter and the Camera Raw, and now you will see how it will add details to the hair. So texture, boost it, and can see how much sharp and more detailed hair looks and this is it even more so before and after before and after you can see the obvious difference and we can also remove now it's really smooth and milky and that's really cool also you can see the skin here before and after you can smooth it a lot but as everything you can overdo it so make sure to not overdo this effect. Let me show you on another image. So for example, let's let's go let's go and see the face, how it impact the face. So this is a raw, a raw photo, completely unedited photo. And let's go to camera raw and let me show you. So if we boost the texture, you can see, let's zoom here, you can see before and after a lot more, a lot more contrast in the small details, like it will enhance small details. But if we lower the texture, you will see the skin becomes more smooth and smooth. And this is really cool. So in Lightroom or Photoshop, you can do the same. You can go with the brush. Okay, you can set the size and you can go with the texture and lower the texture and just paint, paint the effect on some areas that you want to smooth the details, right? And this is it. I don't want to make it brighter. So just like that. And now let me show you really quickly. So this is cool. 
and before and after I just smoothed those details a little bit and then it can help me to retouch maybe this image faster etc so this is just an option or maybe you want to go back and add back some details in the eyes or the lips or the hair etc you can use this slider really really in really cool ways so basically this is it let me just show you one more example with the cat so this is a photo that I did a long time ago let's just go to the camera roll and let's zoom the cat's face this is too much like that and I can add some more details to the hair to the fur here and you can see the eyes etc it's really cool before and after before and after or I can make it really smooth so this is really nice smooth fluffy fluffy cat so this is again cool way to do it also you can do it like this you can make a copy of this layer then go to camera row apply the effect probably we want to make fluffy why not then go back and just add black mask by holding alter option key click on the mask and then with a white brush you can just paint the effect where you want this effect to be applied like like here like it's fluffy cat smooth and this is before and after it's really cool it's impacting just the cat's head so it's really simple and fun to use this new slider but again make sure not to overdo the effect because it, it can be really easily overdone and one more thing to uh, know when you're using this slider this slider will add a little bit of saturation to your images so this is something that you need to have in mind maybe you need to reduce the saturation later or if you are painting in camera row or lightroom with a custom brush you can just add texture and then just reduce a little bit of saturation in the same setting so you will paint with the brush adding the details and reducing in the same time saturation from your images so this is it guys I'm so excited about this new option because now I can finish everything in camera row. I don't need to go uh, to Nick Color FX Pro and to use detail extractor because they're practically doing the same in a little bit different way but this is really really cool if you have any question regarding to this episode please leave me down there in the comment section below I will be glad to answer it and also one more time to be able to have this slider you need to have the newest version of Photoshop with the newest camera row or the newest version of Lightroom uh, CC or uh, Lightroom Classic so just update your software and you will have it. Have fun, experiment and see you guys in the next fun episode. Bye bye.